we have this uh, KitchenAid um, refrigerator. Uh, the list price on it was uh, eight or nine thousand dollars. Um, I think we paid about eight thousand total with taxes and everything when we bought it. It's uh, approximately three or four years old. Uh, since we bought it, uh, we, we've already had to replace these uh, interior lights right here. You can see when the door opens, they don't come on. We, uh, we had it serviced once already. Uh, right now, uh, you can see only two of the lights actually turn on and then there's some drawer lights here that are working. Um, let's see. Doesn't appear to be any light on in the, in the bottom. There's supposed to be a light in the bottom. Um, and uh, since, since then, um, we've also noticed like these parts come off very easily. Um, which is really int interesting for a um, $8,000 fridge. Now, recently we've had this new problem where this right door does not close. Does not close properly. I've put some... Um, I've put some uh, Vaseline on the seal to help it seal better, but there's supposed to be a magnet inside the um, seal that makes a, it attracts it to the metal frame. And I looked at the polarity of the magnets that are in the door frame and um, in the seal and the um, the polarity has reversed on the door. So um, the magnet actually pushes the door out from the um, from the frame. And I looked on the the parts uh, for KitchenAid, and KitchenAid no longer makes this rubber seal anymore it's a discontinued item and they still sell this fridge they just don't sell this particular seal so you could buy a new fridge and right away your parts are not available for uh, this fridge um, what they now are telling you you have to do is replace this whole door which is another thousand dollar part in addition to the labor to have it installed and it, it doesn't come under the warranty. It's a manufacturer defect in these magnetic seals that this doesn't close. You can see I just closed the door and it's sticking out about a quarter of an inch. That's enough to uh, cause condensation down here on the door and let the air flow out of the fridge. Um, for those of you who are not uh, you know, aware of what happens when this is open like this, it makes your compressor run constantly and eventually will kill the whole fridge um, at a faster pace. So we're lucky if we get another year or two out of this fridge um, if we can't fix the door seal. Uh, so a big rip off um, KitchenAid. Uh, I would highly recommend not buying any KitchenAid products. Um, if you look online, you can see uh, my review of the KitchenAid or repair of the KitchenAid dishwasher we have, which is right here. Um, this KitchenAid dishwasher is defective. It has a, a panel here that constantly gets uh, moisture in it. Steam comes up through the door. This panel has to be replaced. This is the third panel we've had on the dishwasher since we bought it. Um, right now you can see the plastic is still on there from when we replaced it. Um, additionally, a lot of the parts inside 
the dishwasher are very cheap and uh, in fact when we ordered this dishwasher it came with damage to it it was arrived in the box with internal damage to the parts which just goes to show you how cheap uh, these dishwashers are made um, again very expensive dishwasher that um, does not live up to um, the price and quality uh, severely uh, challenged quality along with the the uh, kitchen and refrigerator and what you'll see on this door is eventually it will push itself back out I mean it's not even closed you can see there's no seal on the door um, but because of the reverse polarity in the along the frame here there's actually metal in here with different polarity and then this here also um, if you put a magnet on the frame it sticks and that's what's supposed to happen with the um, with the seam the seal and you can see both sides of this magnet are sticking so um, shouldn't be that way and then up here you can see watch as I move the magnet it pushes around whoa it pops off because there's reverse polarity different levels of polarity within the frame there as well and um, this refrigerator has completely lost its seal and they do they don't make the seal anymore so um, you know, if you buy a new fridge for eight thousand dollars, they they don't they don't even sell the parts anymore for for this fridge. I mean, there's already discontinued parts. You know, normally they would have a replacement part for something like this within you know ten to fifteen years of manufacturing it. This fridge is still being sold, and they don't have replacement parts for it. It's uh it's really poor quality, uh, and I would highly recommend buying something else. Don't buy this. This is a, a 42 inch KitchenAid um, KitchenAid I don't know if you can see that but I'll put the, the model number in the comments. I think it's a 502 model 42 inch uh, counter depth fridge.